going on? We're back with another video. So today we're going to look at a canopy for my tray, finally. Um, so a few videos back, I switched the tray over from steel to an aluminium to drop down the weight with plans of getting a canopy. And it's finally time for that. So I'll give you a look at that. Let's go. So I got the canopy, um, now I'll have to rip off that old toolbox up there and just move that aerial, probably just chuck that on the bull bar. So this is my current battery setup. Just a um, little timber frame there with an inverter. Uh, this thing here is a charge controller and then just a little fuse box, so that just runs to my like USB and angle plugs there. Tray is all clean except for that area. So I've got a couple of these little tie down latches. So I'll probably just take all those ones off and just leave these back two that I put on in the last video. And then we'll go to Brisbane Higher and cut these little bits of tray side out that need cutting. So yeah. That's all them done. Um, they were just held in with roofing screws. So don't judge me for that, but it works. Here we are, got my canopy ready to go on. Basically at this point, I really don't care about this tray anymore. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut the lip because I think it will look better if it sits flush on the floor. And I don't want that little gap under there because this tray is super high already. It would only be another like 20 mil, but I do not want to make it any higher than it already is. I'm gonna cut out the lip. I also did pick up a little bit of rubber mat. It's a three mil just flat rubber mat to chuck underneath the canopy just to try and minimize any rattles or noises and stuff that come from it because all those little tie downs that used to be on the tray, they were extremely annoying. the hacksaw was way better so this is just like a general purpose blade on here definitely worked and it got through there like a hundred times quicker than I was getting there with the grinder I do have um, it's pretty rough at the moment so I've just got this aluminium grinding disc that I'll throw on the grinder now and I'll just clean that up and I'll just take that all down nice and flat with a nice lovely edge. I measured 1100 then I've just cut on the outside of the line and also just ground it down a little bit further to give it a bit of a, a rounded edge just on that little bit there. Just so when you're opening the door or anything you can't cut yourself.
but just a couple of mil shorter than the length of the canopy, just so you can't see any mat poking out the back. We'll lay it out now, see what we're gonna look like, and I might just have to trim a couple of mils off the sides by the looks of it. Just gotta take like another couple of millimeters off there. I'll take that off and then it should be right. That's going to be the end of the canopy build for today. Um, in the coming videos, I'm definitely going to be doing an internal fit out, probably some carpet, maybe some drawers. Something to store all my tools. I've got a fridge going in here as well, plus my camera gear. It's going to be quite a lot of planning involved and that will be coming in the next video. We'll catch you then. Thanks for watching. I just got these Milwaukee's. Um, as you may have noticed, a bit of an upgrade from the Ryobi. They are really good if you're in the market for some. I went to Sydney Tools and had a look at all like the DeWalt, Makita and stuff. Heard really good things about Milwaukee. I worked with a couple of guys that used them, so I'd give them a go. And I pretty much used the entire kit today, apart from the circular saw. Well, actually I even used that to cut those timbers that I put underneath the canopy. So yeah, actually used every single piece of the kit today. Um, yeah, worked really well, definitely recommend.